I'm here with Maddie Hinch of England and Great Britain. Um, they're just a few days off their final FIH Hockey Pro League ma um, match matches. Hi, Maddie. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. How are you? Yeah, really good. Um, so, I mean, first of all, before we start talking about the USA, um, last weekend you had two matches against Germany. Um, I just wondered, what did you learn from those two matches? Because you had a you had a win and a loss and a win. Uh, what, what what were the sort of the learning outcomes that you'll take forward from that game? Those games. Um, yeah, we, we learned plenty. I mean, first and foremost was it was just so great to be back at Lee Valley and, and have some sort of normality to what we've been doing. Um, so to, yeah, to get some international games that I'm about. I mean, for me personally, I hadn't played uh, for 15 months was the last time I played um, an inter uh, yeah, a proper international game. So yeah, particularly nice to be back. Um, we knew Germany were going to be strong. I know they were missing a number of their players due to their, their club season wrapping up over there. Um, but, you know, they still put up a really good challenge against us. And I think the results were obviously mixed. The loss in the first game was a bit of a wake up call to, you know, where we need to be. Uh, and then the second game, we were much better. So it's that consistency, I think, that we're still working on. Uh, but to come away with a win is, is huge for us at this stage, building in towards Tokyo. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's gaining that momentum, isn't it? And like you say, Germany, um, they've had pro league matches recently, plus they had a, a very competitive league season as well. Uh, so they would have been very sharp. So it, it was particularly good to see you sort of come back in that second game. Um, what were you, can, can you highlight a couple of things that you were particularly pleased um, by during those matches, whether that be um, on an individual mm -hmm. basis or a team basis? Um, I think, um, well, yeah, in the second game in particular, to, to keep a zero was was massive for us. Um, you know, defensively, we're getting stronger and stronger. I think if we're being honest with ourselves. We haven't been really happy with where we're at with that. So, yeah, to come away against a zero and really kind of minimise their opportunities was, was huge. That's something we pride ourselves on as a nation, for sure. Um, and then I just think our attitude to try and win the ball and, and kind of impose ourselves on the game was was huge. Again, you know, that's something that's going to be really important for us this summer. We, we can't afford to sit back and kind of just wait for moments to come to us. We need to impose ourselves on games and and believe that we are capable of doing that um, and go at teams and I think in the second game you know we made life hard for Germany they're a team that normally wants to spend a lot of time on the ball transferring it around and we had to go at them we had to try and nick it off them um, so yeah that was good and I think on reflection you know we had a lot of opportunities probably to score more goals there and, and that's what we've got to keep working on you know in the in the big games those opportunities that Far, a few and far between so we need to be better there but thankfully we've got plenty of plenty of hockey to play still before before Japan.